Hello everybody, welcome back to another Alien Waffles video. In this video, I will be reviewing the Zingbao Maritime Museum. This is set number 01005 and has a whopping 5,052 pieces. I got this set a few weeks ago and I built it. It took about 20, I would say about 20 hours to build. Um, like one afternoon and like pretty much an entire day from the moment I woke up to the time I fell asleep. So without further ado, let's get into the review. So here is the museum. It is very detailed, um, relatively fragile, and it just, there's so much detail packed into this, I would say about the same size as a normal Lego modular. There's just so much detail. Even the back. Like, there's literally tiles on the back. The There's windows. I mean, these are actually windows. Like, you can't see through them. Um, but it's just so detailed. There's just they pack so much detail into it. As you can see, the roof doesn't fit on at all. Like, you can put it on one piece, but that's it. Um, I'll show more about that later in the video. But, yeah, it's so detailed. This thing is very heavy also about as heavy as pretty much my it's probably my heaviest build even though it's not the largest um in terms of pieces it's large it's largest by like at least 400 pieces it's also probably the heaviest but it's not largest by size just the front alone of this building just the front took at least i would say a third of the time because the closer you look the more pieces you can see I had to set pieces down, rest them barely just balancing on windows and waiting for the instructions to tell me to secure them. So they were just, there were tons of just like these little tiny things just balancing there. It was just super annoying and frustrating to do. Um, the end result looks very nice. So here is the first floor of the Maritime Museum. As you can see, there is a trash can, which I really like the design of. Um, there's a lamp post, which is not the same as um, your average normal Lego modular lamp post. But then again, this is Zingbao, so it's not Lego. And they entered this in a contest um, I may have mentioned in a past video. I think it was the wine bar and financial store review um, that this one and the other one, the wine bar, was entered. They were both entered into a contest along with several other um, companies entering their builds into a contest. The wine bar came second place and this came first place. So I don't know when that contest was. I'm going to assume at least a year or two ago. Um, but yes, the Maritime Museum, uh, it it came in first place. There are these very nice steps and a nice uh, tile pattern leading up to the steps. I like the design of the um, steps. I just st said steps like three times in one sentence. Huh. The doors are also very nice. You can open them. Um, they're not too easy to open. So I, what I do is I first do this um, and then you kind of Oops, I just broke the door. <laughs> it's probably much easier to see from um, inside. So you do that, you open them up, and then you kind of fold this part forwards. Like this. And I'm pretty sure that's how you open the doors. So here it is from the front. Um, it looks pretty nice. There's not too much space in between the doors, so they don't really open up 100%. Um, but it's definitely a very nice design, so I'm going to try to close it without breaking it, but that's probably impossible. Yep, it is impossible, but whatever, at least they still look very nice. On the inside, the first thing you may notice is this very intricate floor pattern. Um, these are all um, one by one headlight studs, or not studs, pieces, I don't know, headlight bricks, don't know what they're called. Excuse me, don't know what they're called, 100%, um, just headlight pieces, and this took forever. Like, the floor alone took about an hour to an hour and a half just to put it in, and I actually had to physically hammer it down onto the platform, onto the, uh, base plate, because it was so, like, 
Um, the pieces aren't the best quality, um, like you would probably expect from a non-LEGO brand, so, um, it, I had to, like, hammer it in since they didn't all fit together perfectly, so they were kind of, like, a bit demented and spread apart a bit, so I had to hammer it in, um, a lot, and I, I eventually got it all in, but the floor, I can still kind of see, I guess you can't really see it anymore now that the walls are up, but... Um, before I put up the walls, the floor was, like, bent a bit, so that just proves that the, um, the floor is a very nice design, but it was very difficult to put in. Over here, there is a shark, um, nice, I like the, um, little stickers here, I guess they, they put some good design into, like, this entire build, um, the stickers definitely fit in, they're high, they were, they're high quality, they didn't, they, they stuck pretty well, except Part of it's in, like, Chinese or Japanese, and it says introduce on it. So, I'm pretty sure that shouldn't be an introduction, but whatever, that's fine. Just kind of, um, shows that this is not an American brand, and it has some type of uniqueness compared to other, um, like, brick brands uh, other than Lego. Over here is a fish tank, um, nice design. Um, and then there's some fish over here. Over on this side, there's another thing with just some, like, plants in it. And right here is a much larger fish tank. Much more detailed. Very nice looking. And then there's this sign that says, A Maritime Museum. And it has a picture of the world behind it. No reason for that, I don't think. Just a random picture of the world. Fits in. Back here, there's a nice door. Um... So I'm just gonna try to open it. There we go. And you can don't you can't really see much, um, but it does still look nice. They put detail behind the stairs, um, so that no matter where you look, it's pretty much a hundred percent covered in detail. So that's probably why this thing is over five thousand pieces. And the stairs alone look very nice. They definitely fit in with the rest of the build. I like how they were very creative with these bone, um, these skeleton leg pieces. Um, that is a very creative um, idea um, in making some stairs. Also, i just like to point out, these pieces are kind of weak and they just kind of flop around a bit and they fall off easily. Um, so just in case you ever um, decide to buy this, I'm just letting you know that there are a lot of weak pieces in this. So moving on to the second floor, um, I really like the design for this. Um, one issue with putting the floor on is that these things tend to bend down. So when you're trying to put this floor on, it kind of hits that, um, and which causes it to sometimes break. So you have to kind of be really careful with putting this floor on. I find that the easiest way to put this floor on is to push it with this side, um, like that, and then you can kind of get it on. So, kind of like push it to the side to kind of bend this a bit, and then this, this side should um, very easily fit on. So, the innards of this second floor are... So, we have some fish here, some fish over here. I like that. They have a lot of uh, just random showcased fish on the back of the wall they seem to really like to do that over here we just have a bunch of like plants um definitely a good idea instead of just putting a like another fish tank they just put the, a tank full of plants good idea and then over here's another plant and then here's some more plants and now as i turn to the back you can see this cool i don't know whale skeleton not sure what it is the skeleton of I think it looks pretty cool. It's a good design. Um, first, I, when I first saw it, I thought that it would be kind of boring to build with all it, like the repetitive things. But really, it was pretty fun. Um, I actually, I also thought that it would be pretty delicate, but it really wasn't that delicate. And then we over here in this corner, we have another random fish. There's also a nice view um, down onto the first floor. So they took, um, they made very great use of the space here. Um, I'd also like to point out that this thing doesn't go, uh, doesn't actually go onto the wall. It's not flush with the wall. It kind of st sticks out a bit since the plants don't, oh, well, that's unfortunate. Since the plants kind of block it from, um, going against the wall, but that's fine. Doesn't really do anything too bad. 
the end of the world. Um, but yeah, they they definitely um, made great use. Oops, made great use of all of the space in this since there's a limited amount of space. There's only like what is that? Five tiles, four tiles. Um, they definitely put the space to great use and try to cram as much as they could into the small amount of space. Once again, I think I used the word space at least three or four times in that one sentence. Huh. You also may notice this nice uh, bay window. A very detailed and it's it was a little bit fragile, but it's not as fragile as I thought it would be. Um, very nice design. Really like it. Another thing that I would like to point out about the second floor is that this handrail falls off so easily. So I'm just minding my own business, and this thing randomly popped off. It just kind of falls right off. It's so easy. Um, it'd be so much um, more secure if there was something holding it down here. Um, but that might not make it look as nice, so I can understand. They didn't really put much thought into making this thing secure, so a lot of things just kind of pop off. Um, but I think that's fine because it still looks very nice. So, moving on to the third floor, first thing I like to say is, when I was putting this thing on, the handrail fell off, um, at least three times. Um, that's, I'm not really surprised anymore, it's happened a lot, so, just, if you're, if you ever get this and you want to show it to people, get used to this thing falling off, because you can glue it, but I'm not gonna glue it, but whatever, it's not too big of a deal. Um, over here, um, there's like a case of bones interesting this is kind of like the bone floor since there's also another uh some shelves just with bones on display um another thing that says maritime museum for no apparent reason just maritime museum in case people forget where they are um i'm assuming that's why it's there <laughs> that's literally the only logical reason i can think of um over here we have some clam shells whatever they're called um and they're just kind of behind this fish tank, which is in the center. Um, they're just kind of behind there. You can't really see them too well. But you can take off this fish tank like this and see them. Um, the fish tank isn't too difficult to get back on. Just kind of pop it right there. And there's also some fish inside of it. I kind of like that. One thing I do not like um, is like these printed tiles. They don't really fit in with the rest of it. But whatever that's fine um there's a couple of sharks here and then there's actually a dolphin here which at first it was nice until i saw that it has literally no eyes um i found this to be kind of disturbing and so i am very tempted to put eyes on it well i guess um after putting eyes on it maybe i should just take them off i don't think they look um less any less disturbing as they did before the eyes but i'm just gonna leave them on because why not now you can see hey <laughs> so here is the roof um it was um very let's see here um difficult to put together because under each of these tiles is a two by four black brick and i had to just place these all along here and keep in mind that this is not lego so i had to kind of just pound them into the thing because they didn't really want to stay so i just like pressed them really hard into the roof and then i had to put these tiles on and i'm just like i don't want to do this so the tiles i just kind of push them in they don't really fit on too well um like you push one on and then another one kind of pops out so you can't really um, put them on 100%, but they still look pretty nice. It's actually very heavy. Like, this thing is, I would say, about as heavy as a normal, almost as heavy as a normal um, Lego modular floor. Because these floors are much heavier than um, a normal Lego modular floor. But this thing uh, is about as heavy as one. So this thing is very heavy. Um... I mean, this is just packed with bricks, and on the bottom, there's really no design. Um, as you can see, there's some very nice uh, skylights. Uh, just gonna say that these things kind of pop off, but they're not popping off right now. 
um, but they are a bit fragile. I've only noticed this one popping off. This one's never popped off, but this one's popped off a couple times. Um, and what I mean by pop off is like when I'm holding it, it just kind of falls off, like when I turn it over. Um, but it's not doing that right now. So, well, this thing is a bit fragile. Like, this thing is just barely hanging on there. Like, I can't do anything about that. See, it's just barely hanging on there. So, if I turn this over, it, yeah, it just comes right out. Um, but that's fine. It, it, I'm probably not going to be turning this building upside down anytime soon unless I drop it, which I hope I don't, but there is a chance I will. Now, putting the roof onto the building, you can only, if you want to choose how to put it on, you can only choose, what the, I got, I got this entire side on. Well, that just means that I can't get this side on, because right when I try to get this side on, I, the other side just kind of pops off. So, um, there's really no way to do it, since it's like, really, the pieces are a bit, um, distorted. I don't know, um, they're just a bit warped, I guess, that's kind of the word I was looking for, um, so it doesn't really fit on too well, but I do think it still looks very nice. So thank you for watching, um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video, um, I certainly enjoyed making it, um, building this was very fun, I totally recommend getting it. I think it was about $200, um, but totally worth it. Um, yeah, it was very fun. Probably one of my favorite modulars, but then again, pretty much all the modulars are my favorite. Ah, whatever. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Bye.